First course offering comes from the opulent Chica Lodge at Isla Morada in the Florida Keys. The executive chef there is Dawn Sieber. She was a psychology major at the University of Miami before attending the Baltimore Culinary Arts Institute. Her starter features Florida stone crab in crab cakes with red pepper remoulade. She begins with the remoulade. It's a red pepper, which is grilled and then put into a pan after it's black and um, beginning to wilt and covered with saran wrap and steamed slightly so that the peel comes off of the red pepper in a bowl of water. The roasted peppers are finely diced. The roasted red pepper is mixed with sour cream. Lightly. Julienne basil. Pinch of salt and pepper, pinch of cayenne, and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. The mixture is seasoned with salt and pepper and set aside while the stone crab cakes are prepared. For the stone crab cakes, basil is julienned. Parsley is chopped. Fresh cilantro is chopped. Along with the parsley. Chives are chopped. Stone crabs are a local indigenous item. They're caught in the Gulf of Mexico. And cracking them, they're very, very hard shelled, so cracking them is kind of tricky. They have um, a bump on the top. I usually grab the claw and use the back of a heavy knife and crack it on top of the claw and then turn it to the side, gripping the claw, and crack the middle knuckle. And then turn it to the side and crack again on the bump. This breaks it through the crab so that you can take the shell off the crab. Pull the claw. And clean the entire claw. to eat or to pick meat from. There's also a bone through the center of the claw. Then we're going to pick our meat, place it in a bowl, making sure that there's no shell because it's very hard. Pull the shell away from the crab like this. And using your fingers or a small fork, you can fry the meat from inside the shell. If you don't have stone crab available, you can substitute blue crab, backpin crab meat. We have about one pound of stone crab meat, which we're going to mix with some of the finely roasted red pepper.
and freshly chopped parsley, cilantro, chives, and basil. I'm going to put a little Pommery mustard, grain mustard. Some mayonnaise. A little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay seasoning is a commercial product often used in crab dishes. Some salt and pepper. And one egg. All of the wet ingredients are mixed together before the addition of the breadcrumbs. Tossed lightly just to mix them. And then fresh breadcrumbs, just a little bit to bind it, are added. Just enough to hold it together so that you can roll it in breadcrumbs to saute it. And there's a little bit of key lime juice. This is a key lime. Squeezed in for flavor. And then we're gonna make our crab cake. About one and a half ounces. It's nice for an appetizer portion. It's holding together just enough to roll it in the breadcrumbs lightly. We're gonna put some clarified butter into our griddle. And we're gonna saute our crab cakes until they're light golden brown on both sides. Over medium heat. The cakes are cooked a little less than a minute aside. They're very delicate, so you have to toss them lightly. You can pre-cook these, lightly brown them if you like, to finish in the oven later. They go into a 350 degree oven to finish for about 10 to 15 minutes. The cakes are presented on mixed greens. We're gonna drizzle some extra virgin olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, some salt and pepper. Garnish our plate. We're going to spoon some of the red pepper remoulade for the crab cakes onto the plate. And we're going to place them on top of the red pepper remoulade. some of our salad greens on the plate. And we're gonna drizzle a little sour cream to finish.